Hi, this is Lee Brower. Just finished the uh, Philadelphia Rock and Roll Half Marathon. And this is number six for us. Last spring, trying to figure out how I could contribute more for Wacky and bring awareness to young adults living with cancer and the legacy that our son Nick gave us. Uh, we decided we'd run a marathon every month, a half marathon, and culminate in January with the Goofy. And the Goofy is kind of insane, really. I don't know why I've committed to it, but once you commit to something, you have to follow through. And we're going to run a half marathon the first day and a full marathon the second day in January. And uh, as I was running, it was a very emotional day for me today because I thought about Nick, and this is the first Nick well, wa uh, wacky race that we ran was here in uh, Philadelphia, the Broad Street 10 miler. And Nick was with us, and Nick spoke to a group the night before, and and uh, it just a, a tremendous amount of emotion came into me as I thought about that young man and all that he has done to build awareness for young adults living with cancer. The, his courage and the warrior that was with him. And I had the opportunity to see that warrior rise up and, and come out of him. I've seen it come out of those that love him, that warrior inside, how it surfaces. I've seen how the warrior inside comes out when you can take these young adults and put them into camp activities like you do with First Descent and how we're able to help raise money for more research. And um, as I was running, I thought about Nick when he, after a year of having cancer, in that second year, he was going to run a marathon in Nashville with me. And uh, um, he hadn't trained at all, and he came into remission, and I thought, wow, how's he going to be able to get training? First day, he went out and ran five miles and came back and said, that wasn't so bad. And I said, wow. And he said, I'll go with you on your next training run. Well, I was up to mile 12 then. And um, so we went out for 12 miles, and I thought, I better keep the pace slow so he can keep up. And after a couple miles, he says, well, I'm going to go a little faster. By the time we got halfway through, I couldn't keep up with him, and he got impatient with me and just finished. But that was the warrior that was in that young man. He had the courage to be able to overcome the, the toughest of challenges, and it's made my life better. It's made our family better. Somebody the other day said to us, man, that must have tested your faith. I said, no, not at all. And actually said it to Lori, and Lori said, not one, not one second. What it did was made our faith stronger. But what we do know is that there's the young adult cancer mortality rate has not gone down in 40 years, and we, wacky warriors against cancer and kids and young adults, need to do something about it. I want to invite you to join with me. Make a pledge and become wacky. You can get wacky pin and wacky shirts, and you can become part of the wacky nation, if you will. If you'll just join what we're doing, you can come run with us, create your own events, or just support. Pledge a few pennies, a dollar or something, for every mile that we run on this campaign that will be culminated in January. This is important and you can make a difference. Please support me in this. Thank you very much.